Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a repot with me. Um, I'm going to do a voiceover for it and just give some tips and tricks and explain what I'm doing and what you should do, maybe what you shouldn't do. Um, I have my iced coffee ready. I got some good music and yeah, grab your iced coffee if you want to join me and give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoy this type of video, subscribe if you're not already subscribed and let's get into it. Okay, we're going to start guys. Get your iced coffee. Okay guys, we're going to talk about repotting and thankfully I've learned a couple things along the way, but it's been from mistakes that I've made. So the first couple tips are just going to be things that I've realized that you shouldn't do and hopefully you can learn from me. So number one, the plant that I'm repotting right now is a philodendron Brazil and I took these cuttings in February of this year. And as you can see, it's still a small, tiny little plant. And one of my mistakes was taking cuttings from a dying plant. Okay, so these were the last three to four leaves that were okay, quote unquote, looked healthy. I was just like, okay, I'm just going to cut these off because the rest of the plant is already dead and hopefully I can save this. So that's a no-no. I wouldn't say like, okay, if let's say 20% of the plant is looks like it's declining, you know, that's a little different. But this plant was like basically dead, dead already and it only had two leaves at the very end of its vine and I took those two. So I would say 95% of the plant was dead. So that was a big no-no. Number two, I stuck these three tiny little baby cuttings inside of a four inch pot. So it was just too big of a pot considering the size of the roots that had established and just the size of the leaves. So I'm putting it into a three inch pot now and I'm hoping that will help it because basically when you um, are transferring propagations to soil, you want to be considerate of the size like if you have a bunch of cuttings I think sticking it in a four inch pot is fine but since they were just tiny little baby cuttings I should have put them in a smaller pot and um, that would have allowed them to kind of just establish roots faster and easier and I think in the long term <laughs> I would have a more fuller plant by now so just a couple mistakes that I made but like I said, this was my first ever. So let's take cuttings from helping plants and let's not put cuttings inside of a pot that's just too big compared to their root system and how many cuttings you're putting in there. Um, the second one that I am repotting today is a Hoya. And I wanna talk about soil first because the kinda is a big part of repotting. So I use basically two things as my base and then I add these extra elements into the soil mixture for a well draining mix. So potting soil and cocoa coir are basically the base of my mixture. Um, I just eyeball so I'm just going to explain to you if I was making a mixture how I would do it. So I would take two scoops of potting soil and two scoops of cocoa coir. So I basically use a 50-50 ratio for those two. And then for my add-ins, I just eyeball it. Um, but I like to see a good amount of perlite in there. So I'll add perlite, I add orchid bark, and I add just, I would say half a scoop of cactus soil. So technically, Cactus soil is could be a base, but I have it as an add-in because I don't really add that much of it in. And then I add worm castings, which is basically a organic fertilizer that will just release slowly over time. So that's my general soil mixture. Um, so let's move on to talk about this Hoya. So 
I would not have repotted this Hoya if it wasn't for the fact that I have knocked it over like five times. Like knocked over, soil comes out every single time and I kind of just tried to put it back into the same pot every single time. So it just really needed a new home. Um, because a lot of plants just like to establish their roots and they like to be quote unquote root bound and Hoya is a particular um, species of plants that enjoys to be root bound and if you watch Plantarina she says you know like she has some Hoyas that she's had for years in the same nursery pot so I wouldn't have repotted this unless it was absolutely necessary um, and that kind of goes on into the next um, plant that I'm going to show you that I'm repotting that also um, kind of has to do with why I decided to repot it. So in, in the plant world, um, there's just, I would just say all plants like to have some type of root bound first. So most of my plants live in their nursery pots. Like most of my plants are not transplanted into a new pot right away. I wait um, until I see that it absolutely needs it. So there's either roots coming out of the bottom or like this one, as you kind of saw me struggle, I could feel the pressure building up in the plastic pot because it has all these puppies. So I knew that like the more that it grew, the more it was basically going to be busting out of that plastic pot. So it's in a four inch nursery pot or was in a four inch nursery pot and I decided to put it in a five inch terracotta pot. So I only went up one inch size basically. And that's kind of like my rule of thumb for all of my plants. If they need to be repotted, I'm only gonna go an inch up in size. And um, you can kind of see that it, its roots were not like crazy established either. So. I kind of took a risk by doing this, but I also knew the plant just needed it. Like, if you absolutely notice that your plant is, one, busting out of its pot, go ahead and repot. Two, another thing that tends to happen um, with root-bound plants is you'll notice it's not absorbing water um, as slowly as a new plant. Or how can I explain this? So basically, I have a Monstera that as soon as I pour water in on top of the soil, I immediately see it go down through the drainage holes. So that means that there's not really any soil there absorbing water. Like, it's going through way too fast. So that's also something to look out for. And that has happened to, I would say, a couple of my plants. I have a butterfly um, syngonium, a white butterfly syngonium, that I noticed that every time I watered it, water was just coming immediately through the bottom. And obviously, it should be a slower process. So that um, plant I repotted, and now it is absorbing the water more. So, you know, I can't say don't do this, don't do that, because there are times that you're just going to notice you have to repot. So, um, I would say that's another reason to repot, but it goes hand in hand with the plant being um, too root bound. So going along with like the size that you put your plants into or the pot size that you decide to put your plants into um, comes the type of pot. So what it's made of. So um, terracotta, plastic, ceramic. So for my plants that like to stay moist, I tend to keep them in a plastic pot. So as you can see here, I'm actually transferring some golden pothos cuttings that I had in water and I'm putting them into soil now and I'm putting it in a small plastic nursery pot because I need to keep the soil moist for about two weeks um, and then eventually I will pull back on the water until it gets to the point where um, I let it dry out just like a regular pothos. Um, and then my calatheas are in plastic nursery pots because they like to stay moist. So if you want, if your plant needs to dry out in between waterings, I would recommend a terracotta pot because a terracotta pot 
absorbs the extra moisture that's in the soil. Um, and then ceramic pots, I would say um, you kind of have to know how your watering is. If you're an overwaterer or underwaterer, because ceramic also tends to hold a lot of moisture. So, you know, it just really depends um, what your plants need, what your style is, if you tend to overwater, underwater. Um, majority of my plants though, are in terracotta and in plastic pots, and it is based off of the plant's needs. So I hope you guys enjoy this repotting with me, and thank you for watching, and I hope this was soothing or, you know, whatever. Okay guys, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I truly love to repot and just sit down and I have music going as you could probably tell. And this is just something that like I enjoy doing. And it was really satisfying to see this snake plant and um, all of its little puppies. So don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you'd like, and I'm gonna catch you in my next one. Bye.